Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Goodman and I'm your host of the Fur Babies podcast and the upcoming Fur Baby Summit. I'm here with our Fur Baby question of the day. Should I adopt a senior cat? Now, many of you have expressed your desire to adopt a cat recently, and many of you have over the last year. Thank you. I hear this question a lot, asking if someone should adopt a senior baby rather than a young cat or a kitten. Now, there are plus points for both of those, but for today, I'm going to share with you the reasons why you should consider adopting a senior cat. Now, first, what constitutes a senior cat in age? I can tell you when I was young, our cats all lived well into their teens, so I have a bit of a skewed perspective on what qualifies as a senior cat. You say senior, and I think 16 years old plus, maybe plus plus. I have an 18 year old right now, and she's incredible. But times have changed. I went back to the Journal of American Animal Hospital Association, and they said that the term senior can be described as an aging pet, but the number of years considered to be senior varies. Other identifiers like species, breed, and the state of their organs can also help determine if a cat has reached old age. Now, the International Veter Veterinary Senior Care Society says a cat is considered a senior when they reach seven to 10 years old. So that surprised me, but it also made me think. A lot goes into our cat's health, and just like humans, what we eat and consume affects every cell in our bodies. The takeaway here is that you can adopt a senior cat, quote unquote, and have many years or even a decade left to spend with them. So what does that give us? Well, it's a huge gift. Senior cats are impressive. And here are some great reasons why you should go out and adopt one right now or two. One, senior cats are already house trained, so they understand how to use a litter box and are acclimated to feeding routines and the proper bowls and accessories for this. The only time you may run into an issue outside of the box is if your cat legitimately has a medical issue like a urinary infection or something behavioral. Both medical and behavioral can be readily checked out and worked through. So don't let that deter you. Now these babies know what they're doing and they'll be just fine in your home. Two, an older cat has already gone through kittenhood. So this means they are usually calmer or more laid back. Sure, they'll still get the zoomies, and it's so fun to watch them spaz out for a minute or two, but generally speaking, they are calmer. They also know the routines of car trips or vet visits and usually manage these things well. I think they're great to travel with, actually. Three, you also know what their temperament is like by this point. Now, kittens grow into their personalities, and it takes some time to see just who they really are or who they end up being. So all those points about taking the best care of your kittens and bringing them up with love comes into play here. With a senior cat, you know what they really love to do and what they need to feel secure and happy. Plus, they communicate well. Kittens, they take, the, they take time to find their voice, usually. Seniors know full well what they need. So, four, senior cats may be more affectionate. Now, I know a lot of families love to have what we call the lappers. And that's a cat that loves to snuggle and curl up on your lap. And I agree, few things are better in a day than an hour spent with these purring, amazing souls curled up on you. It is love and comfort. Young cats and kittens also do this, but they have a lot of energy to burn. And that's, they have to burn that off during the day. And if you have more of a limited amount of time with them, they need to play and get that out before they really want to settle down and snuggle. So playtime is important. With an older cat, they're often happy spending this time with you in touch and affection. Five, your older cat can self-entertain a bit longer than your kitten can. I know that when I head out to work or run errands, I know my older girls will spend the day watching bird TV out the window or watching a video and napping. My kittens will be all over the place and I cannot trust that they will not get into something. Also, why you need to kitten-proof your home, but that's another topic. The craziest thing my girls do is take out one of the plants from time to time, but even that's rare. They take the opportunity to catch up on their beauty sleep and it shows because they are catwalk gorgeous. Six, older senior cats are very smart. They become very in tune with you and often claim you and you become their person. They know things. If you have a senior now, you know what I mean. And if you have not yet, I highly recommend it. 
I adore my kittens, but there is just something about our older babies that is succinctly soothing and just so much fun. Now, if the moniker has dipped to seven years or 10 years old, then that opens your adoption pool a lot more. You have so many babies to meet and see how you fit with them. And you can still get them insured, so that helps with future vet care or medical changes when they pop up. Now, I wholeheartedly support adopting a senior cat, or two, or three, however your resources permit. They will bring you so much love, and remember, it saves two lives. One is theirs as you pull them from a shelter or a rescue foster. And two, it saves, that, it saves the life that can now be admitted into the shelter or the rescue. You will never regret it. So that's our question of the day. Please feel free to share your comments and please feel free to share your senior babies with us because I love to see them. If this has been of value, these kinds of questions and more are some of the topics we'll be covering in the upcoming Fur Baby Summit. So you can go to furbabysummit.com to get signed up. We thank you for listening and for being the amazing fur, fur baby parent that you are. Sending purrs, wags, joy, and love to all of you. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.